Jay, it all started when we learned the county was giving first time speeding offenders a warning by changing their speeding ticket into an illegal parking ticket. The state told the county to stop back in 2009 and they didn't. We filed a freedom of information request two years ago on all traffic citations in Loving County since that time. We found much more than just speeding tickets were being changed. Because of our story, the state launched their own investigation. In black and white, it was all listed out, every charge for more than a year. More than 90 citations filed as an illegal parking ticket that started as something else. Like this one, possession of marijuana dropped and changed to an illegal parking ticket. In this case, the assault causes bodily injury charge pending against the defendant and it was dismissed and charged with an illegal parking of a vehicle. I'd have to take a look at it. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Today, nearly two years later, our report detailed in a formal warning against Loving County Judge Skeet Jones. The Judicial Conduct Committee told me that I needed to talk to my county attorney and tell him that we shouldn't be doing this. So I did. I talked to him. He said, well, we probably shouldn't, but we're going to do it anyway. Since that first report aired, neither he nor the legal county advisor, Roddy Harrison, have had much to say to me. He hung up on me. And today... Not much has changed. Judge Jones, I have the Judicial Conduct Committee ruling right here. Do you have anything to say? Uh, no, ma'am, not this time. Today, we know County Advisor Harrison resigned when the state began their investigation. LC 104, so. Sources in the county confirm traffic citations are no longer Four, being changed. I'm just, gonna get, I'm just gonna issue a citation for the speed. And Judge Jones must complete 10 hours of education with a mentor. Judge Jones has 90 days to finish additional training. If not, more reprimands could come down from the state. Reporting in the studio, I'm Tatum Gwen, CBS 7 News.